Hello, this is Shannon with Phenomenal Water again. And I wanted to tell you about alkaline water machines and I wanted to tell you about like alkaline water you would buy from the health food store. Let me make a big bold claim. If you have an alkaline water machine, I think they're awesome. I own one, uh, drink it all the time. I think they're fantastic, but they do not make alkaline water and they do not make acid water. You know, that's a heck of a claim, right? Because those things are expensive and we've been told they don't make it. But actually, you already know that I'm telling the truth and I'll tell you why. Here we go. How do they work? Let me break it down real simple. So with my machine, um, I have a Kangen machine. It goes to, it's the smaller one. It goes to like a 9.5 pH. I have stripped that thing all the way down to the plates and then put it back together. And I was really impressed that I was able to get it back together <laughs> um, to figure out how they work. And it's fascinating. It's amazing. They're really cool machines. And this is how they work. If you put pure distilled water or reverse osmosis water, in other words, water with everything stripped out of it through those machines, they don't make anything because they need the total dissolved solids in the water. And here's why. You kind of got to use your imagination a little bit. In water, there's dissolved solids. So they're tiny, tiny little particles, so small you can't see them, but they're there and you can measure them. So the dissolved solids are in the water and as they're floating through, those machines have these little plates. And so they're charging the plates. They're either forcing electrons into the water and onto the total dissolved solids, or it's a negative charge and they're pulling the electrons off. So on one side, you have an alkaline water. On one side, you have an acid water. What happens is, is of course water. Here's a big oxygen and two hydrogens. On an oxygen, an oxygen has two electrons and hydrogens are missing electrons. So that's why they attract to each other and that's why it's stable. Well, if over here is this really, really strong electron on a, on a dissolved solid, so here's this tiny little particle with countless trillions of electrons hanging on all of a sudden, then the hydrogen goes, oh, that's a lot, and it jumps over. So it left the, it left the water molecule and it literally went and bound to this piece of solid in the water. So you kind of, kind of picture this total dissolved solid with this bajillions of little hydrogens attached to it. Now you take a pH meter and you measure it. It can't measure what's on that total dissolved solid, but in that water it says, oh, there's not very many hydrogens here. And it can't read them because they're bound. And so it says, oh, this is alkaline. And on the opposite side, you're, you're moving the oxygens over, you're leaving the hydrogen. The pH meter says, oh, this is acid water. And there you go, alkaline water machine, acid water machine, but it's not. Because as you know, if you put that in a, in a jar, even a steel jar with no sunlight on it, then in about two days, it's back to seven, it's back to neutral. How can you do that? You can't, there's no, it's not missing anything. It's, it's, it's all of its pieces and parts are still there. There's just as much hydrogen, there's just as much oxygen. Uh, so there you go. The fact is, it's phenomenal. Oh, what you do get from an alkaline water machine, and I gotta get, because you do get a boost and you feel better when you drink it, so why? What you do get, especially on the alkaline side, are free electrons. The electrons that were on those total dissolved solids are the very electrons that run our body. So you drink that, you get this electrical charge and you feel better because we run on electricity. We run on oxygen and we run on electricity. That's how we work. So that's fantastic. You can't, you can't beat that. That's great. Now, phenomenal is different because phenomenal is the hydrogen, the acidity is actually removed. It's gone. And that's why if you leave phenomenal in a bottle, you could leave it in there a hundred years. It's not going to change because it can't change, because it can't find hydrogen because it's in plastic or glass or whatever it's in. Here's the cool part. If you have an alkaline water machine, let me give you a challenge. Take, put your phenomenal in your alkaline water machine because it is fantastic. Your electrical charge will at least double and you will feel it and you'll be removing acidity from your body. If you bought an alkaline water machine and you spent all that money, you probably care about your health. That's a safe assumption. I'm going to tell you how to turbocharge it, like super turbocharge it, because if you add phenomenal, I mean, I'm telling you, you get like a massive energy buzz and it's really cool. So that's great. Let's move on to alkaline water from the store. Uh, probably, let's just pick one. How about Essentia? Essentia is probably one of the most common. I see it at least where I live all the time. So it's, it's, in a, it's a clear bottle. It's a nice looking bottle. It's got a black label and they say their water is a 9.5 pH. Well, first off, if you check the pH, it's not quite that high, but um, the way that all alkaline water in the store is made is with minerals. So you really only have four. You got sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium, but you can only put so many of those minerals in water before it starts to taste like salt water. You know, you got that little taste, right? So the maximum they can go is about a 10. 
and they just really can't go any higher. So if you're looking at Essentia at a 9.5, if you take Phenomenal and you put one ounce into 32 ounces of water and you drink that thing, or before you drink it down, it's an 11 pH. Now, that's 150 times more alkaline. It's 150 times stronger than Essentia or the other bottled waters in the shelf. So that puts the comparison way out of whack. Uh, if you're making it home and you tried to compare the price, it's not fair because Phenomenal would be worth 150 times more, or it's 150 times cheaper, however you want to do it. It's, it's way, 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 way stronger. That's really cool. And the other thing is, in Phenomenal, if you look at the label, there are no minerals in Phenomenal. They're all below the FDA reporting limits for, for minerals. So it's literally considered water, even though in the bottle it's right out of 13 pH, which is ridiculous. So high. So when you drink it, it's an 11, and there's no minerals for your body to deal with. That's, that's huge. That's a massive difference. So it's 150 times stronger with no toxic load at all. So what happens is when you drink it, it the hydrogen binds back to it. It becomes water. You get rid of it. How cool is that? It's awesome. So alkaline water machines, water from the store, phenomenal is in a whole different category. So much better. Uh, you know, put it with your aqua water machine, or you know, if you're looking at saving a few bucks and getting more for your money, Phenomenal is massively cheaper than buying alkaline water from a store. Thanks. Live life. Enjoy.